friends good afternoon this is manju here and we start today about dimensions table and fact tables so uh, we learn this uh, sections in this video okay so i am going to teach you in this video about dimensions table and fact table so what are the dimensions table and what are the fact tables as you know this is uh, we know as database okay so this is database or else you can say about this is called as data warehouse okay so we store the data in this two okay we store here also the data and here also the data so this is called as database and data warehouses but in both of these we store data okay so then in what format the data will be going to store in database or else you can say in data warehouse so in what format data will be going to store here so there are two formats only okay you can say there are only two formats we can store the data in database or what you can say data warehouse so what those formats are you first you call it as dimensions table so dimension table and the second one is fact table fact table so in these two formats we can store data in database or else you can say data warehouse okay so then come to dimension table okay what is dimension table now okay what you say about dimension table what is exactly the dimension table here so the dimension table data is data is descriptive format okay what you say descriptive format means the data contains in dimension table is description format okay it contains some description about the business okay so description about business what you say about business the description data about the business and it is in textual format in textual format it only contains text and then it contains primary key you can say it contains primary key what is primary key we will see in next uh, this session okay so the dimension table means what data is descriptive data about business and it is in textual format only it contains text and it is containing primary key okay so now we can see what are the types of dimensions table okay there are so many types of dimensions table so we can uh, now coming to know about the types of dimensions tables okay so first one is scd that is nothing but slowly changing dimension okay so this is what called as slowly changing dimension so what is scd here so the data in the data in database is going to change over a certain period of time okay it's time variant the data is going to change in a database over a certain period of time means it is a time variant that is called as slowly changing database uh, dimension okay so this is what we think here so what are the scd types so in scd slowly changing dimension there are three types okay scd type 1 and scd type 2 and scd type 3 okay there are three types in the scd types okay then we come to know what is scd type 1 so here in this scd type 1 we can store only current data okay so we can store only current data in scd type 1 okay so if you want to store one one new record we can overwrite the whatever stored in current data okay we can overwrite that one so this is what called as scd type 1 we can store only current data and what is scd type 2 so 
So what is SED type 2? So here we can store current data and complete complete historical data. So this is what the SCD type 2. We can store here current data and also the complete historical data in SCD type 2. So we can insert as a one new row. Okay. So in SCD type 3, so what we do here in SCD type 3, we can store current data and few or you can say partial partial historical data. So we can store here in SCD type 3, we can store current and few or partial historical data. This is what called as SCD type 3. So SCD type 1, type 2, type 3. In SCD type 1, we can store only current data. In SCD type 2, we can store current and complete historical data. And in SCD type 3, we can store current data and as well as few or you can say partial historical data. So these are the types of SCD. So, so this is what about SCD. Then we come to now types of dimensions. Okay. So what are the types of dimensions as the second type? Second type. Okay. So here second type is confirmed. You can say confirmed dimensions. And third one is junk dimensions. Fourth one is degenerative, degenerative dimension, and fifth one is role play dimension. Role play dimension. Okay, so one type is already we know that is SCD. In there we have uh, three types: SCD type one, type two, type three. And here second one is confirmed dimension and junk dimension, degenerative dimension and role play dimension. Okay. So then what is confirmed dimension here? So confirmed dimension is the dimension table. Okay. So you can say the dimension table shared by multiple, multiple fact tables. Multiple fact tables. The okay. dimension table which is shared by multiple fact tables. Okay, so this is what called as confirmed dimension table. Okay, so this is what called as confirmed dimension table, which is uh, dimensions shared by the multiple fact tables. Examples D underscore C. Okay, we can say this is as an example. So junk dimension table. So third one is junk dimension table. Here, what is called as junk dimension table? This is nothing but unwanted data. Okay, unwanted data attributes. So we can see here non-additive fact table. So what is ex exactly the non-additive fact table is? Fact value is going to generate by not considering any of the dimensions table. Okay, so means fact value value will be get generating but it not considering any of the dimensions table here. So this is what the thing here. Example here is tax. You can say, you can give example here tax. Okay. So then we can go for next one. That is a factless fact table. So factless fact table. What is exactly the factless fact table? So factless fact table is uh, the fact value is not, it contain, it doesn't contains any of the fact table. So what is fact table? So factless fact table. What is factless fact table? The factless fact table is not containing any of the fact values. Only it contains foreign keys. Okay. So these are the types of the fact tables. And next we can move to cover on two things like uh, what is the primary key and what is foreign key.
so we can cover here the primary key is the technical attribute which is used to maintain unique records in database so for example you consider one table is here and this is these are the columns here and these are the entities okay you can say entities like id name uh, and uh, last name and city and mobile so we can apply here primary key so we, it maintains id is unique okay for all the records id is unique so we can use primary key here to maintain unique records in table so this is what the primary key function so it is the combination of not null plus unique okay so this is the combination primary key is the combination of not null and unique what is not null it's, it's not accepting null values but it, and it can accept duplicate values and plus what is unique the name itself says it cannot accept duplicate values but it can accept null values so the combination of not null and unique is called as primary key which is used to uh, maintain unique records in uh, database okay so this is what we think and what is the foreign key here foreign key is used to refer the primary key okay so consider if two tables are here and if you join the two tables okay so this is common column here id column by using these two by uh, establishing the relations between these two columns we can combine the both of the table records here so that's why the foreign key is uh, referring primary key here so this is what about the primary key and foreign key so in later video we can uh, i can uh, just inform you about in detail with some example queries also so if you like this video kindly like my video and uh, kindly like subscribe to my channel sql master youtube channel so i will meet you in the next video with some more videos thank you bye bye okay